Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about uh, uh, the string methods, and three of them we discussed about the char art method. We discussed about the compare to and equals to. Today, we are going actually to take another three uh, uh, Java string methods and actually try to define what are they, have their syntax, and then implement them into Eclipse. So let us start in that particular journey. We are starting up with the first one, and that it is the concat. So a concat, actually it is a string method that compare, actually specify string at the end, and spec combine specify string at the end of another string. It involves, actually it returns what you call upper, a combined string. So, actually, it actually, uh, it takes up uh, one string and actually put it at the end of another string. So, basically, it gives what you call a combined string. So, this one gives up a combined string. So, what is actually, it is, it is syntax. So, it is syntax, uh, uh, it is actually, uh, takes up a, a modifier public and then takes up a data type string and then the concat and then takes up another string so here another string also must be of data type string so here it takes up another string so basically this is actually the syntax let's see how we can implement the same so basically what you can do here we can actually uh, have some variables call let's say string the first name and then we give it up a value, like my name, Abdul Rahman. Then we can have another string called the last name, LM. And then we give it up the value, Ahmed. And finally, we'll have an empty string called the full name. So the full name, which is actually the empty string, we can actually pass on and combine our two strings. So this is very simple. How do actually pass on? We are passing on. We are saying it is equal to actually the first name dot concat. Actually the last name. So basically that actually will combine this particular two string. So let us go to Eclipse and see actually how we can actually implement. So here I'll have my string and uh, I'll call it f name, that is the first name. And actually I'll give it up the value. Uh, I'll give it up the value. Sorry for that. I'll give it up the value uh, Abdul Rahman. And have another string. And this particular string now I'll call it up the last name, l name. And give it up actually the value Ahmed. So these are the two strings. So I want to combine this particular two string so it can give me actually uh, one word Abdul Rahman Ahmed. I want to give it up a space there so when you combine the two of them, actually there is actually a space on that. And finally, uh, here I'll have uh, uh, the full name. I'm a full name. So I'll have here my full name. As another variable so those are my three variables so now the full name the full name I want actually to uh, to pass on on the full name all my two uh, uh, variables f name and uh, m name and actually connect the all of them so I'll have here f name dot concat so f name dot concat so I'm supposed to concat what am I concatting actually my last name. So I'm concatting last name. So with that particular note, actually now I can print by saying <coughs> system dot out uh, dot print ln. What do I want to print? I want to print actually a full name. So I'll print up my full name there. And uh, it should give me Abdurrahman Ahmed, as we have seen up here. 
So when I run this particular program, actually it gives me Abdurrahman Ahmed with this particular space. So here, actually we have seen up uh, the output. It has actually uh, uh, put up the two of them together. Let's go to the second one, which is actually called the format. So actually, what does it do? So the format, it's a string method that returns a formatted string by giving out its lo uh, locat, the format, and the argument. So it takes up uh, three arguments. It takes up an argument of, uh, let's take for example, uh, it takes up an argument of uh, the locat. So the locat, it takes up the format, and also it takes up the argument. So basically, uh, what is the syntax? It takes up the word public, and then basically it takes up a public static, and takes up uh, the form. Uh, it takes up a uh, data type string, and uh, the word format. And then take up the locat, take up uh, the format and the argument. So how can we do that? Basically, uh, we can take up uh, a few examples here. Let's see. Uh, let's take up uh, the same here we are having here. Maybe we are having up a string uh, called fname. So let us have a string called fname here. A string called fname, then we'll have up a string called message and have another string called tax. So here I've got three strings, and let's see what you can do with those particular three strings. So my message actually I can assign it to I can assign it to the string format, so it'll be string dot format. So we have already there. So we have the two of them. Uh, the ones which check up an object and uh, the one takes up a, a locat. So this one takes up a locat. So these are the three of them. Takes up a, a string uh, locat and then takes up uh, the string itself and the what you call the object. So you can take up that one. So under there, basically I can say, basically what I can I say? I can say actually my name is, and I put up the locat uh, the spec the specifier. So here the specifier it is s, and then what do I take up here? I take up the name. So my argument, the first argument, will be actually the f name. The f name and the second argument I don't have any, so I can just put up null. So basically here I can put up null and then I terminate. So basically uh, that is how you can do it. So I can terminate there. And also I can also assign something to the text. So text equals to, I can take up my string dot actually format. String dot format and I can take up a the second part again onto that onto the format actually I can put up something there I can put up something uh, I can put up something onto that particular one and what can I put up I can say uh, actually the tax deduction equals to and uh, I put up a format specifier, maybe I put up a percentage F, and then on the format, now percentage F is supposed to be for a float, so I can put here uh, 1.65 or 1.65, and then the other one I can put up actually null because I don't have any to put up onto that, and then I terminate. So now basically it is for me to print up uh, the two of them. I can print up here message and can print up the tax. 
So basically, I can just do this copy, Control C, it is copy, and then Control V, and I change up. Now I don't want to print up message here. I want to print up actually the tax. So I'm printing up actually the tax. So when I run this particular program, let's see what will be the output. Yes. So it gives me my name is Abdurrahman. The tax deduction actually uh, it takes up this particular format. So uh, these particular messages have been formatted according uh, to this particular one. So let us go to the third part of it. On the third part of it, we're talking about index of. So actually, the index of uh, it is a very interesting one. Uh, it is a string method that actually returns an index of a given character <coughs> or a character value or a sub actually uh, a string and uh, uh, so it gives up the index of a sub string and the index itself it starts from zero to what you call actually from zero to the to to the length uh, uh, to the length minus actually of that particular one and it will return if does it not find any uh, Index actually to return minus one. So let us see how we can implement the same on the other side. So let us uh, Me take up uh, the same again here and let's see how we can actually uh, implement it so let us see. Now here I've taken up Abdurrahman, but that is actually I want to put up a sub one, maybe Ahmed. So now we have up a, uh, a string called uh, name only. So I'll just put up my my string actually called name, and it has got that particular value. So uh, remember, uh, let's see first of all the index. I mean, let's see the syntax. The syntax basically of the index of is a very simple one. It is actually we are using up the uh, public. And then we have got it must be of data type integer. And then we use index of and actually takes up an index char. So that is actually uh, the syntax. Of the index of so let us see how we can actually do so here we are forced actually to have uh, int uh, int index it int index uh, that is a variable and uh, let's say int index one and we are passing on the name dot index of index of here we are so index of an index of we can pass on uh, one of our so let us pass on uh, one of our sub uh, our sub string so our sub string there it was Ahmed so I can pass on Ahmed and see what is the index of Ahmed so here basically I can just print index one so when I run this particular program let's see what happens when I run this particular program actually it tells me the index of Ahmed it is 12 so let's see uh, how did it calculate uh, basically we say to start from 0 so a was 0 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then we have uh, uh, the space also 11 and then a was 12 so this substring actually the index it is actually 12 and that is actually makes up the end of this particular session until on our next session whereby we are going to discuss uh, other three uh, predefined string method we are going to talk about uh, the get sure and then is empty and what you call the famous one called the, the length so for now i say bye until next time and don't forget to subscribe